Okay, so here we go again, week three of apartment three. And I've um, got my list here. Now I have noticed a mistake that I've made on the timeline because I've put tape and jointing in week three, but tape and jointing can't be done until Lee comes in and does the electrics. So that needs to come off of there and go over here. Tape and jointing. Which is fine, because that's my job anyway, and I don't really have many jobs on here. So this week, Ted's got to get the bathroom wall stud walling in. I've got to treat the ceilings. Um, mortar, the fireplace wall, stud the walls in the main room and take the bathroom. There is one job also that I haven't got on this list. And that is remove even more mortar. Even more mortar. Explanation mark. That's because there's an area I forgot last week. Um, let's go take you over. This piece of wall here. I forgot this piece of wall here. Uh, the bathroom wall will come to here, which is the other side of the beam. So I need to remove this bit of plaster here and expose this window. Um, didn't think about it because originally we was going to plaster all this area until I started to get the mortar off and realised I love the exposed stone. So, um, so this is my final piece this morning, Monday morning, getting this off the wall clear up so that I'm ready to start watering tomorrow. That's the job. So I've got to turn this into this. Now, I wish it was as easy as that because it wasn't. Um, this has got to be the hardest wall I've done. But a good playlist makes a big difference. And you'll see now why Ted doesn't let me be his uh, backing singer. This is how it went down. And you have been the one, you have been the one for me. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. That it's over. Get back. Get oh! <laughs> <laughs> I see how you're doing, hey, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's superb. <laughs> I wish I How long have you been standing there? Oh, two, three minutes. <laughs> doing a little dancing. Why is my playlist playing up? <laughs> oh, God, you're oh, scared yeah, the crap out of me. You were trying to do it for Oh, this is hard work. My arms are killing me, and the SDS just isn't working. I need to get some new... Oh, <laughs> need to get some new blades. I love the stone work in here, this stress stone. We've got some huge pieces here, so I'm so glad we uncovered it. Um, so now, today's job is to mortar this whole wall. I've got one day to do this wall and the fireplace wall. It's got to be done, so I've got to work till whatever time it gets finished, because tomorrow we've got to go shopping um, to get some more materials. So um, i better crack on and get some more mortar mixed. And let's see how it goes. So first job of the week is to, and it's probably gonna take me all week, is to stud the big wall, um, put all my studding up in there, um, put my framework in for the bathroom, lay the bathroom floor and stud the bathroom floor. Um, and yeah, that's, um, 
If I get that down by the end of the week, I'll be well happy. Well, I suppose it takes a lot of um, measuring and everything else the to try and get is, level. Is the, the trouble is, is that that um, putting in the bottom place took me ages because I had to put concrete in there because there's nothing to fix to. Uh, but it is solid as a rock now. And so hopefully anything I build... This is why I wanted to put the floor down so I had a nice solid subfloor, so a solid base. And then I can put my uprights off of that. Um, and, you know, that that's, yeah, it's going to be a... It's going to be a, yeah, rest of the week. Rest of the week. You better crack on then, baby. Okay, I'm off, I'm <laughs> off. So while Ted's working on studding the walls, I am going to start working on treating the ceiling. So that's treating all the beams and the floorboards in between the beams. And while I'm up there, I can have a good look at the floorboards and see if there's any areas that need um, some work, as we're not going to be boarding between the beams, not over the beams, by the way. We had somebody who commented and said, don't cover those beams. Go back and watch our other vlogs, because you'll see that uh, we don't cover the beams. Um, when we talk about boarding between the beams, that's exactly what we mean, between the beams, not over the beams. Um, you'd have to be an idiot to cover up these beams. 700 years old and absolutely gorgeous. So my job is to treat them all. It's a vast area um, and we've got a new treatment that we haven't used before. So I'm going to try it in the bathroom area first because that is an area that will have a full ceiling in it. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, do those beams first just so I can see what it looks like. But um, I think it's going to be a bit of a quick time for this one, baby. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's go for it. Okay, so I missed a bit up here. Teddy Bear's doing the last bit for me on his ladder. Just so he can say that he painted the beams. Is that right, baby? Um, well, would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a certain person we know <laughs> who would do that. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do that. Because it's the, like, if, you know, it's a bit like you going, when I said to you, oh, can you just tell me uh, whether I've got a red line on this piece of thing? And you go, yeah, when I railed the ceiling. Because <laughs> I, I absolutely would not take, you know, you've done such a lovely job of this. You know, it really is, really is brilliant. It looks fantastic, I think. It I does. Know. I'm really pleased with this ceiling. Yeah. And, you know, like when you think about how much it would have cost us to board it. Yeah. Because we didn't have any batten there. So and we, the time. Yeah, and we would have, but yeah, that's the thing. You know, the time, the tape of jointing of the ceiling. It, yeah. That, that would have, real, like, it's two a real, to three weeks. Exactly. Just on the ceiling. Exactly. And it's taken me a couple of days. Yeah. You know. How are you getting on, baby? Slowly. Slowly? Yeah. Why? Just because um, I've got 
figure it all out before. I don't think the bed of ice has got a guy who's really about to have sports try. Right, it's um, a bit difficult. You'll get there, baby. I bought you a present. Okay, Some salami. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thought they might cheer you up. Right. So nothing to report up here then? No. Okay. o'clock I've done two mixes of mortar and I've just picked up my last bucket of that two mix and I've only got to here so that's not good news considering it's four o'clock and I've still got the whole of this wall to do which I do not think it's going to be possible um, which is a real shame because it looks like their blackboards are gonna beat us this week how are you getting on baby um. Again, I'm a bit up against it. It could be a late one tonight. Yeah. Because um, I want to get, well, I can get most of my stuff done. Um, I've got another day, so I can get most of my stuff done. But you're, uh, you're up against it, aren't you? You know, that's the only thing, you know. I suppose we could tackle that tomorrow afternoon, both of us together, if I get my stuff done in the morning. Yeah, I've well, got all my stud up, so the thing is, is that I want to lay the floor in here as well. I want to put the floor in here before and before. So that's the thing. I've got to do all this, cut the back, do the recovery. Okay, well recovery. let's see how we get on. Let's see. I might do another mix. Well, you know, mate, you know, you're going to lose the light in a couple of hours. Yeah. Um, are you going to do that full mix, done everything in a couple of hours? I don't know. Well. I might have to get you to clean the tools for me. <laughs> Always the best jobs. Always the best jobs. <laughs> okay, let's go, Fred. Right, I'm going to put this up here. Baby, can you pass this to me once I get up there? I'm really tired. Okay, so while Ted's out, and I'm waiting for him to go get my spatulas that I've left downstairs, um, I have a quick chat. So tomorrow, I'm going to go shopping for a day shopping with um, Joe, which will be lovely. We're going to go to Limoges, have a bit of lunch. It'll be nice to take a bit of time out. Can't, shouldn't really, because as you can see, I've got a lot here to do, but we've got four months to the wedding. Um, we get married, 11th of June. Four months to the wedding, and we haven't done any planning at all. We sent out invites last week, and um, and that's it. That's all we've done. So we really don't know how this wedding's going to pan out. So me and Joe thought we'd go into Limoges, have a look around some wedding shops, just to get some ideas of what we might be able to do. We have no budget for the wedding, so um, we don't have any money. So everything's going to have to be homemade. And um, yeah, we're going to go into Limoges, have a look at some shops. And just give ourselves some ideas of to what we could actually do for the wedding um, and what we can make. And Debbie, if you're watching this, I might actually bring you in on this because I know you're very good at um, fabric. I might get you to make some stuff for me. But in the meantime, let's see what we can get done with this wall. Is that the last of that one then? Yeah. Do you want me to start putting one in for you? Well, you've got shit of your own. Well, yeah, I know I've got shit of my own to do, but it's just throwing bits of wood in rather than running over getting sand and shit. You don't mind. 
three buckets of sand, yeah? Three sand, one iron. Um... Three sand, one iron. End of day twenty thousand three hundred and forty five point six. It is it's a day Thursday. Thursday of it's the week. Thursday of the week. And um well, looking at our blackboard, looking at what we've got done, I think it might be, Mania might pull back a point here. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, it ain't over until the fat lady sings, <laughs> as they say. So I'm saying positive. We've had we've, a couple of setbacks this week. Yeah. We had two days that we had to go and find materials, wood. One day we went out to get materials, wood. And uh, we got to all the way to Limoges, got to one shop, didn't have it, went to the second shop, got a phone call from Steve, who had popped by, and Bessie had jumped the gate and was out on the road. So we had to come flying back uh, with no wood and go back up the next day to source the wood. And then the following day, yesterday, we went to the bank to start our business account. And we didn't realise it was going to take like four hours in the bank. So that's all taken a bit of time up, but let's have a look where we're at. So, Teddy Bear, where are you at? So, all this wall is studded. Um, maybe some noggins in there, but I don't want to do anything until my electrician has had a look at it to know where he wants me to put things, which is fine. The bathroom is framed out so far, and I've had quite a lot of issues trying to level the floor and trying to put my waste in because nothing is level. It's all horribleness. Yeah. There's still some work to be done there. I've got a full day at it tomorrow. That I'm hoping to get done. Um, and then that will be ready to board. Um, but yeah, so the setbacks on that. For your point of view, baby, what have you been doing? My point of view. Um, okay, so watering today. I wanted to get all of this wall and all this wall done in a day. Perhaps it was a little bit adventurous of me because it has one, I, I think I forgot, or I didn't really take into account how much work doing this recess would take. Yeah. Because there was a lot of loose stones, I'd take a lot of stones out, pack it with mortar, put new stones in to, to be able to make sure that that area was stabilised. But anyway, that's all done, that is done, but that window recess is not done. Well, yeah, but then, then that, is, <laughs> that is three mixes, you know, for anybody doing this, that is three, full um, mixes the way we mix them, three sand to one lime, um, mortar mixes, that's taken all that lot over here. So that is and an awful lot of... As you can see out the window, it is now dark and um, it's too late to be able to do another mix. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I am totally beeped. <laughs> <laughs> so... That's going to have to be, well, the problem is going to have to be done another day, but we've also had a phone call today for Mikey Air Roofer. Michael. Michael, sorry, Air Roofer. Uh, we've got so many Mikes and Mikeys and Michaels. Um, if you remember Michael that came and did the roof for us, he's coming back to do the tower. Now, next week is going to be a lot about the tower, and we'll update you next week on, well, we'll remind you of where we finished in the tower, and there was a problem with it, so that's why we've got Michael the Roofer coming in to help us with it, which means that I now probably won't get much more done this week because I will have to prep the tower and lay a load of stuff down on the floor. And can I just interject? Yes. Have you got somewhere to be tomorrow? I go shopping tomorrow. <laughs> I'm taking a day off. So? I'm going shopping. Yeah, I'm only taking the morning off because I have to come back in the afternoon and brush this lot back. Yeah, but... You take your time out, and this is me saying this, you take time out, you do not rush back, because this ain't going to dry, because it's bloody freezing up here, um, and you go and have some lunch with your new friend, <laughs> but I'm sure there'll be video evidence of that. Yeah. It'll be good fun. Nice go and have a nice day out. Go and have a nice day out, yeah. about this, but yeah, so I'm afraid Montmagny might win this week. Well, yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I think um, there might be... In horse racing terms, a steward's inquiry. <laughs> a 
anyway, one thing I did have chance to do was put a roast dinner on today. So should we outrageous. Have a let's go and have a little Nobody drop. Yorkshire's, I'm afraid. But... No, let's have a little drop of something and, and a beautifully slow cooked roast dinner, which he's Come been then, doing all day long. I think it's a good day's work. You stink. <laughs> um, I was just scanning Lisa's lists. You know how much I love Lisa's lists. And this, you know, I have found, I discovered um, her getting ahead of herself. And so there's an area here that says, take the bathroom. Well, we can't take the bathroom until we've boarded the bathroom, taped and joined the bathroom, and then Lee's been in before that to do all his electrics. So we're going to take that off of this list. And we're going to substitute actually laying in the floor of the bathroom. So I'm going to put in a subfloor of 18mm OSB board that then we can tile on top of it and have a nice flat surface to tile on top. But I've framed it out. I'm going to put in that in. So that will go on the list as subfloor, bathroom, as a substitute. So if we go over here, I'll just show you the framing before. So this framing has taken an inordinate amount of time because it had to be flat I didn't want to do it any other way. It had to be high enough to compensate for the pipe work to go into um, the shower drain, hence why it's this high, um, and hence why it's taken me forever to do, because I wanted it to be flat. And I also wanted it to be strong enough because it's got to take the subfloor and tiles, and I don't want my tiles cracking when people floor, walk on it. So that's done. We'll put the OSB in, we'll come back and show you later. I've treated the ceilings. Mortared the wall. Stud walls in the main room. And subfloor in the bathroom. So, what do you call this? Yeah, I've so finished all my jobs. <laughs> that's a tiny bit there. Yeah, There's an excuse for it, and the reason why I've said I've finished it, because I would have finished it, but I run out of mortar, and that isn't a whole mix. So there's no point in me doing a whole mix and wasting half of it when I've got the other bit to do when Lee does his wiring. So I will finish it then. Okay, I'll let you off. Do I get away with that? Yeah, you get away with that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not too much, is it? And you have done an awful lot and done really well. Anyway, we're off for a cup of tea and um, film night. Film night with the boys tonight. So we'll film see night. you all next week. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye. Thank you. We would like to welcome three new patrons for this month, Andy Exton, 
Miriam Taylor and Neem McGrath. Thank you so much for joining the team of patrons. And if you'd like to become a patron, don't forget to check out in the descriptions the link and see all of the behind the scenes, the outtakes and the bloopers and um, join us for Zoom chats each month. Thank you all for supporting us through the YouTube channel and we'll see you all again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Someone to share my dreams Someone to follow me